Hey there, Motor Fixer. Let's talk about the MAF or MAF or Mass Airflow Sensor located in your BMW. The Mass Airflow Sensor is located between the air cleaner and this intake pipe that goes into your throttle body. The Mass Airflow Sensor is responsible for understanding how much air is necessary to feed the engine to get the proper fuel air mixture. The Mass Airflow System is really two parts. One is this two and a half inch to three inch plastic housing. It's cylindrical and attaches to the air intake tube that goes to your throttle body, as well as the exhaust port on your air cleaner. The other component is the electrical component. That electrical component is the actual sensor itself. To access the electrical component, squeeze these two clips on either side of the electrical wire and pull that clip off. You can see that there are five connections and that wire can sit free. This is the electrical component that reads the air intake. This electrical component sticks down into this tube and reads the flow of air from your air box into the intake itself. Keep in mind, you can get some bad readings off a mass airflow system if your air cleaner and the filter itself are not clean. If the filter's not clean or it's clogged up, you're not going to get enough air coming through the mass airflow sensor and it can send the wrong readings to your engine more likely than not, if you have a bad MAF, it's going to be this electrical component here. It's just either dirty or has gone bad, and it's giving the wrong readings to your engine. A couple of signs that you may have a bad MAF would be your engine doesn't start because it's not getting any air or not getting the right amount of air at startup, or you have a really rough idle. Now that really rough idle can come at any point, either just sitting in your driveway idling or even when you're driving down the road and you come to a stop sign and you have to sit there and idle, you may find you have to sit there and, dr and rev the engine just to keep the engine running because you're not getting the right air-fuel mixture. One unknown item about the MAF is that your vehicle can actually run without this electronic component attached to your MAF. Your vehicle actually will start without the MAF engaged. Your vehicle will just revert back to a basic code function to give your engine the right air-fuel mixture. However, it's not going to run correctly, it's not going to be very efficient, and you're going to find that long term you don't want to run your engine that way. Here is the new MAF. I purchased the entire housing and MAF component itself, and you can see there are the five connectors down inside the new MAF. This is an aftermarket MAF. I know a lot of people are going to say, why not get the original Bosch? As you can see, this is an original Bosch component on the vehicle currently. I went with the aftermarket because this is $38. Compared to over $200 for the Bosch, I can buy four or five of these. And even if this goes bad in the course of a year, this is a really simple replacement. And I'll take my chances right now just to see if this is my issue with the vehicle idling poorly. Okay, to get this project done, we're going to have to remove three items. The first is going to be that air cleaner. The second is going to be that electrical connection, which we have already done. And the third is to detach this hose clamp so you can pull off the intake tube. Once the intake tube is off, and the housing has been detached from the air cleaner and this electrical connection is off, this housing will pop right out.
All right, here we go. The engine's idling correctly. Here is our new mass airflow sensor and components, and the engine's running correctly. This should take care of any issues going forward with any rough idle or the car dying when I start it. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and throw some comments below. Thanks for your support.